Okay, YouTube, we are back for part two of a video that I started yesterday regarding the ATS um, governor pressure solenoid manifold. Well, the solenoid in the block and trying to adapt it to use a BD diesel pressure transducer with it. Normally, these two parts are not meant to go together. Normally, you're meant to use the BD diesel transducer in a an OEM uh, gov pressure solenoid manifold it's just it's designed to fit better in that this one is this ATS manifold is designed to use an OEM transducer which is normally held in with a screw here that you can see and it's got a little plate that retains it in here this transducer you can't retain it like that it's got a it's got a little metal clip that retains it in here, slips into the groove, retains it. The problem is this manifold, it's not machined the same as an OEM manifold is. It doesn't have the same dimensions. It's a little bit thicker between here and here. Therefore, the pressure transducer doesn't, doesn't, doesn't line up that groove just right in there. There's, I'd say there's about a 20,000, it's recessed in there about 20 thousandths. So you're missing about that much of your groove. You gotta, you gotta grind down the metal clip a little bit, which I did on the sharpening stone here. Got it to the width I need for it to work, which as measured with my awesome Harbor Freight caliper, I don't know if you can see that. It's got a busted screen, don't know how that happened. But we measure it, we measure the thickness of it, and we are at about 113 thousandths thickness. I'll measure a brand new one that hasn't been uh, ground on, and we are at about 125, 126 thousandths. So I took not quite 20 thousandths off of it, but that's all it took to get it thin enough to fit on that groove, which I'm going to show you in a second. And it took about five minutes of sanding on that block to make it happen so here we go i don't know if you can see that i'll try to get this it's all already heading down in there and you just give it a give it a nice shove and that's that's about all you have to do really once it fits it just fits and of course once you install this back on the transmission you know it, it fits to the transmission like this and the transmission holds that in there it, it can't come out there's nowhere for it to go and now this is locked in there solid and there's nowhere it can go and that's how you get these two parts to to work together pretty simple basically you just got to thin that retainer clip up i don't know why i didn't figure that out the first go around but and whatever, I thought I'd share my experience with you uh, so that you don't run into the same sort of problem if you want to use these two parts together, which I love them. I've had nothing but good luck with them so far. They work, they work really well. All right. Well, if you like the video, hit like and subscribe. And um, anytime I'm up to no good, I'll try to film it and so you can see. Thanks.